Hi, I'm Vikram and welcome to A Roll of Film. So I'm going to start a new series of videos called Shooting With. And in this series, I will uh, shoot with a particular camera using a particular film stock and then I will review the photographs. Uh, so I'll kick off the series with the Yashica Mat 124G uh, and uh, I'll be using uh, the Lomography Color 100 film stock. So let's just start. So as you know, uh, the Yashica Mat 124G is a medium format camera, uh, shoots uh, 120 film and uh, uh, has a 6x6 negative. And for this uh, particular uh, walkabout, I used the Lomography Color 100, 100 ASA film. Uh, so I started the walk uh, on a Sunday, on a Saturday, I'm sorry, uh, and uh, started off in the morning at around 9, 9.30. I dropped my wife off at uh, home, at the office. Uh, we worked together, so I took the day off, dropped her off at the office, and started shooting. So I used the uh, Sunny 16 rule. Now the, the Yashica does have a light meter, exposure meter, but I purposely decided uh, not to use the light meter, but to use the Sunny 16 rule with a few tweaks. Uh, those of you who are not familiar with the Sunny 16, I've, uh, I've explained this rule in a video of mine. And uh, those who are not familiar, I recommend that you, uh, you, you uh, watch that video. And uh, I've just dropped a link down in the description for you to uh, access it easily. So I started the walk at around 9, 9.30. And the first shot I took was of the St. Patrick's Church here. Uh, this church is just right next to our office and it was around uh, 9.30 in the morning, bright sun, uh, very distinct shadows and uh, as for the Sunny 16 rule, I should have used an exposure value of uh, six, F16 but I decided to overexpose by one stock and therefore used an exposure value of F11 and this is the result. Now I made a note of all my, uh, of all my settings in this uh, this little diary of mine. I'm a little uh, old fashioned that way. I'd rather write things down than uh, record it on my phone. And so here we are F16. And as I said, I'm using the Sunny 16 rule, so uh, uh, I'm using 100 ASA film. So I fixed my shutter speed at 125. The shutter speed remained uh, constant for all these uh, shots. Uh, being a 120 roll and uh, a 6x6 negative, I got 12 shots. And I'm happy to note, to tell you that uh, all 12 came out pretty good. I was hoping for a strike rate of about 8 or 9 out of 12, but to my surprise, I got 12 usable shots. Now, this is the first time I'm using this camera and this uh, film stock, so I thought uh, it was pretty good going. So, I, so this was shot at f16. 125 shutter speed, 100 ASA. I should have uh, shot it at f16, but uh, I overexposed by one stop. And I think I got, uh, with this, I generally overexposed because I like my images to be slightly brighter. I prefer it to be a little brighter. Therefore, I use, I overexposed by one stop. Uh, in hindsight, I think maybe I could have used f16 itself. I would have got, probably got a little more color in the uh, in the church building, but I still think uh, I think I still think I still prefer I like this one. I think it's pretty good and nice blue sky. The next shot was of this auditorium. This is also uh, close to uh, uh, close to our office, and uh, it was taken about say 10-15 minutes apart after the previous shot. So the settings remain the same: f11, 125 shutter speed. And again, it had some shadows, pretty distinct shadows. And this, with, by overexposing by one stop, I was able to lighten the shadows and get pretty good amount of detail in the shadows. So again, uh, a very, very nice and pleasing shot. Extremely happy with this. And uh, what I noticed was that this lovely blue sky. I think the this Lomography Color 100 really gave us gave me some beautiful blues, blue skies in all the images. Next, I moved to uh, uh, to this uh, place again in the central business district of Bangalore. This is where our office is located and where I did this walkabout. 
This is a extremely uh, popular microbrewery in Bangalore, and the Bangalore at one time was known as the Pub City. Now it's full of microbreweries. Uh, I I always wanted to photograph this particular microbrewery because of this lovely red uh, red color and the red and black contrast plus this light uh, white uh, second and uh, the first and second floors. Uh, the problem with this uh, building is that it's usually half of it is usually in deep shadow. So I I did uh, so yeah so the setting I used here was an f8. I was exposed by approximately two stops I would say. The idea was to get some detail in the shadows to open up the shadows and get some details and I must say the shadow detail is good but at the same time the highlights are not you know totally blown out. I think it was it's uh, pretty nice not bad quite a usable image. Now this, uh, anybody familiar with Bangalore would recognize this place. This belongs to uh, an infamous beer baron who is at present absconding due to some uh, tax evasion issues. This again was taken about 5-10 minutes after I took, uh, I shot the microbrewery, they are very close to each other. Actually I think I took it from the same spot, I just sort of turned a little bit to the right. And uh, again I shot at f8, again overexposed by approximately one, one and a half stops I would say. But again I think I got pretty good details, the highlights are pretty nice, some nice shadow detail here, this is pretty dark shadow. Again all in all a very nice shot, the sky is a little lighter than the other photographs but, uh, but still a usable image. Now this is uh, again in the central business district but in another location close to the main boulevard, which is known as uh, MG Road. This is an old uh, heritage building made out of stone, which was uh, typical of the old British era buildings in Bangalore. Uh, the Book Society, which now houses the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, from books to Hard Rock, quite a journey. Again, this, uh, this area, this, uh, the, the Book Society, the building was spotlighted and I wanted to take out some more details from the shadow again. So I used an uh, exposure of 5.6. And I thought, you know, 5.6 uh, might be a bit too much, but then I decided to just uh, take the shot to see how it came out. And I think this, this came out pretty well. And this uh, street hawker here, hawking her wares, seems, uh, adds a bit of, uh, adds a nice touch to the image. So 5.6 about, Again, a couple of stops overexposed, but still get my team to get some good detail uh, in the shadow, which is exactly which is what I really wanted to do. So again, all in all, it's pretty nice. Now this is the metro, uh, the metro station on MG Road. Got a lot of graffiti and painting on the on its facade. And actually, I took two shots of this because I was not very happy with the composition. Uh, I had slight problems. Uh, handling this, uh, compo composing of this camera because it shows it shows a mirror image. So if I want to shift left, I have to actually shift right. So it took a little getting used to, but uh, again, it was nice. Here I used uh, again F8, over exposing by one stop because uh, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, you know, the details were in the shadow. I needed to get the shadow detail right. And with F8, over exposing by one stop, I managed to get uh, the, the detail. This is the second shot again, again, like I said, slight problem composing, composing the shots. Here now, this is uh, the metro, elevated metro line in Bangalore and MG Road again, same boulevard. Now, this was shot at around 1 o'clock, 1, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, just about lunchtime, just before lunch. And it was really, really bright, harsh sun and very, very deep shadows here. This entire area was in very deep shadow and I decided to just uh, experiment a bit and shot it at f5.6. I was a little, uh, I was a little wary about the shot. I was not very sure whether I was uh, overexposing a bit. 5.6 felt a little excessive to me, but then I decided that let me take the shot and see how it turns out. As you can see, it turned out pretty well. I must say uh, this film stock, the Lomography 100, seems to have uh, rather forgiving, if I may say so. I think you can 
uh, overexposed by about a one by at least up to two stops and still get uh, usable images like this one. Then uh, around 132, I picked up my wife. It was a half day, and then uh, she went to get her hair done. So after lunch, so while she was getting her hair done, I decided to walk around again, again in the central business district, back to quite close to the micro brewery. So this is a UB building. This is the UB city. It's a well-known uh, location in Bangalore. Again, belongs to the said said uh, beer baron, who's a scornic. Uh, so this was taken. As you know, as you can see, it mimics the Empire State Building. Uh, and this was taken at F8. Yeah, it was around about, I should say, around 3 o'clock, 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. Very bright. And this white facade. Sun was reflecting off it. A lot of glass here. I was initially thinking of going for an F11, but I decided to go for F8 just to see how the film would handle it. And uh, I must say it came out pretty well. This again is part of the UV city. Uh, this was a little less light compared to the previous shot. Again, again, about five minutes difference between the two shots. So I decided to uh, to open up by one more stop, shot it at 0.5.6. And again, I think uh, pretty good. Handled it pretty well. Now this is a building close to uh, to UV city. Uh, again here, it was again uh, again about 10 minutes difference between the two shots. Extremely, extremely heavy shadow here and extremely bright on this side. The sound was just hitting it here. So here again I overexposed and I took it at, at uh, 5.6, having about two stops overexposed, at least, if not one. And I'm pretty pleased by the way it handled. I got the detail in the shadow. Managed to get out details in the shadow, and at the same time, uh, the highlights are not blown up pretty well. So I must say the dynamic range of this uh, film is pretty good. Uh, it handles the highlights very well and gets out the shadow detail too. A little, little muggy here, but uh, still usable. And then the final image. This I shot actually at home, close to my house. Uh, I shot it at f8. Again, the building was. Uh, spotlight and the shadows are dark so I overexposed a bit to get some detail in the shadow but then I blew out the highlights here I managed to recover it slightly in post process I haven't done much post processing here this is almost exactly out of the camera but here in hindsight I think I should have gone uh, one stop less F11 so I managed to get 12 uh, usable for photographs which I think uh, pretty good for our first uh, for the first try with the camera and I'm extremely happy and I'm really uh, really uh, now uh, really beginning to love this camera. So I'm off to Humpy next week and I'll be taking the Yashica Mac 124G but this time I'll be loading it up with Kodak Port Portra 400. I'm really looking forward to this trip and, uh, and I'm looking forward to sharing the results with you. I'm going to Humpy. Humpy is a world heritage site and uh, uh, well known for it for the ruins of the capital city of the Vijayanagara Empire. We're going to get these lovely ruins in this magical setting. Can't wait. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.